that'd be fun. Yeah. Get you another one. Go up in a little bit further and she'll be good. Oh, that'd be good right there. I ain't, I, more. I ain't got far to go. That'll be fine right there. First cold crank with this one here. Very good. I can't stand something that won't crank when it's cold. You don't get no smoke off these emission motors. I've had three different pallets in my truck this week. That one's got my lights on it right there. That's what I just picked up. Before We're going to make the American flag shine brighter. From this to this, check that out. All right, y'all better enjoy the buzz and the way that looks because it is about to change. I just changed that bad boy out right there. That's what was up there, 175 watt day bright metal halide. Now, I think this is a 35 watt, no, 28 watt. The same thing as a 175. Then we'll take all of them down. Those are 400 watt metal halides. A lot of y'all are familiar with them. I'm gonna be putting up 135 watt LEDs. I uh, looked at doing a retrofit, but the retrofit to change the Time I took the ballast out, bought the bulb, and all that stuff, I was gonna have actually a tad bit more than that. And I'm not sure the quality on the bulbs I was looking at. I got those from our electrical distributor here locally, so I know they're good stuff. I got I've got eight in here now. There's gonna be ten going up. I'm gonna put the eight in the same places where they are. And then I'm gonna put the other two, depending on how my how they end up shining over my work area over there. And I've got this thing to do it with. Yes. The last time I wired this thing, I wired this entire shop myself, all uh, metal conduit. I did it from our backhoe bucket, our 310 SE backhoe bucket. It about killed me going up and down on a ladder or either climbing up over the back of the boom. This belongs to Jay's boss right here. The Bradford company, Jerome Bradford. I asked Jay while he's working on our stuff the other day, I said, Jay, I said, does Jerome by chance have one of those scissor lifts? He said, yeah, man, he's got one. I said, you think he'll let me borrow it? He said, oh, he'll let you borrow it. Hey, ain't no problem. So I called Jerome, I said, Jerome, I told him what I was wanting to do. He said, man, I'll bring you that thing. So he had bad Brad bring it to me today, dropped it off. It took me about 30 minutes to decode how to make that thing work. I actually had to pull the owner's manual out to read it to figure out how the tricks to make it work. Got her going. Change that light out right quick. That is on an eye up there now too. I've got a little switch over there, but it's got an eye on it, so when it gets dark, that will automatically cut on. I'm going to change these out, and I'm going to let y'all watch me. These things are so cool. So the neat thing is I already have hooks up there. That's what those lights are hanging on. Uh, they're through that Z-beam up there on top. So all you do is just install the uh, these metal hangers on each end of this light and then I've got some jack chain over there that I'll cut the length of what I need and uh, hang it up. So there's what the underside of them look like right there. So this is going to be so exciting to get away from the from the bus up there. Well, look at all that water running off right there. <laughs> it has to do a lot of raining to do that. This thing's so cool. Just hit the button and go up. It 
it's funny how much light technology has advanced in the last just few years. Because this, when I built this shop, which is building up, these right here were the, uh, were the cat's meow. As as good as you could get just about it at the time. I am not an electrician. I'll go ahead and tell you right now. But I can get it done. So I know on this green there it's not supposed to be a red nut on it but it's one of those deals where you run what you brought these things i hadn't even been into none of these since i've wired them in well i think april will be 16 16 years ago so ready to come down and that's all it is too as far as that goes, get down. Now I'm gonna use my chain. I'm gonna stop the camera right now and use my chain to get my light rigged up. These things are pretty simple to do. Just feed the chain through the hook. Get it on. Kind of left me a little play there on the other one end. pretty smart I needed some uh, SO core to connect in the junction box down to the top of the light and I was gonna get 25 foot SO cord is on is just extension cord is all it is 25 foot was like 22 or 23 dollars or something like that and for 24 dollars you could buy a 40 foot extension cord so I sprung for that that way that means some wire left and if I want to wire it back together I can whatever I need to do so I just got that extension cord here which is this right here and I'm just cutting sections out of it is all I'm doing I just happened to spot that while I was uh well, I was wandering around Lowe's because I was just about to buy that 25 foot roll for the same price as what this extension cord costs right here. I have to remember I can't look at the camera when I got my light on. Just getting these wires back real quick.
Well, after I wired this thing and wired my house, <laughs> made me confirm that I had no desire to ever want to be an electrician. My fingers were so sore from twisting wires. And driving those Romex staples in, hated that. Lovely! Went all the way to the floor. Don't laugh at me. Dang it. I got another one new. Y'all hear my phone? It's all day long. Every day. Today's a perfect day for this too. It's been, man, it is rain. We just come off of Fix Some Fest week. We were gonna work today in the woods, but the, uh, the weather just was not gonna allow that to happen today because it started raining yesterday afternoon and I mean we've gotten some rain I don't know how much but we've got Is cut this the right length and wire it in. So I got it wired in the light, putting the cover back on here. This makes number four. I got four more to hang, and then my two bonus ones in which I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put them I'm gonna have to get uh, get all these up cut it on and kind of see where my where my dark spots are over there and then I'll hang them I for my stuff to be perfect too that's a Sometimes that's a good quality and sometimes that's a bad quality because I spend too much time sometimes trying to be a perfectionist. I think. I believe that's pretty close to the square. Alright, good enough. One down. I love this thing. I mean, this is the. If I ever had to do anything like this ever again, I will rent one of these things or whatever I got to do to get one of these. These, this is the handiest thing ever. Crazy. There's one. Oh, two's right over my head. Three and four down there. So now I'll take and move my boat over. Get this side over here, and all I'm. All I'll do when uh, I put those bonus ones in, when I kind of see where I want them to go, I'm just going to jump out of that junction box and go that way. Is That's my game plan. I've got some MC cable over there. The cool thing is a lot of this stuff that I'm using, I'm not even having to buy, except for like the SO wire, the wire cable right there. I didn't have any of that, but... I had enough stuff from where I built this shop and had it saved over there on the bench, aggravating the snot out of me having it all this time because I had money in it. But I didn't have to buy anything so far, except I got something I'm gonna confess to y'all, and I don't mind confessing it because I'm still hurting from it. 
You climb up on this thing right here and you got that bar right there. The first about three times I did really good. Then I got excited when I got the first one up and I need to come down and get some. And I went to jump back up here and I literally tried to take my head and take that bar slap off right there. People, I clanked my teeth together so hard. I seen stuff flying around in this shop in my vision for like three minutes. So that's why this green piece of fish catfish noodle, swimming noodle is right there so that I don't do that again. My head is so sore. I swear I knocked the top off of it when I hit that thing. All right, this is what I think about fluorescent lights. Huge difference in here. See, y'all see I got my maid over here sweeping over here now. I got <laughs> Mr. Larry. I told him he could come over. He come over, but he had to run a broom for me to come over here. So, you're so tough. he's you're so, tough, man. so he yeah. so he's sweeping. He's sweeping. I didn't put his butt to work. So I've got to eat up in here, and. Uh, now I've got two more of these lights to hang. So this is my main working area. So I'm going to put one of them right here is where it's going to go and fill in this area right here really good. Get it, get it going there. So I'm going to go up there and drill me a hole through the, uh, through the eye beam up there. I'll take y'all along. beyond happy with the way this turned out. I've got one more to put up that I hadn't put up yet. There's, so there's nine of them in here. The light is just incredible. No shadows here. I'm gonna end up sticking another one up over here somewhere. I'm gonna do it here in a little bit. 
But a huge thanks to Jerome, Jay's boss, Jerome Bradford, for allowing me to use their scissor lift. I will never, ever do a job like this without having something like that, whether I got to rent it, borrow it, steal it, whatever. That made it just too easy to do it because it just drive it around, go up, get up there, get it done. I'll show you all what I put up. Industrial lighting products, uh, 135 watt Himalayan high bay LED. So I can, I had two eight foot fluorescents just for walking in here, uh, you know, quick. And I took them down. There's a box and there's the other box over there. So I can buy me two more of these and put them in those places right there if I would like to. And I will probably end up doing that. But I'm going to put, like I said, I'm going to put this one up right over in here because this is my main work area where I do everything. And it's, uh, it'll be really good on the video. No hum or buzz at all. So I'm looking forward to filming in here now. If somebody's interested in, in these lights right here, hit me up. Uh, eight of those right there, and then I got that other 175 over there. I just was not going to retrofit those things. Uh, the light bulb, just to go in there for the retrofit, was 120 bucks, and I just wasn't going to do it. And so I just swapped the whole thing out. But, oh, glory, you can see her up there. A lot better now. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. And... Uh, you can find all my contact through stuff right down below in a clickable link. All my other stuff, like my tools that I use, the uh, Milwaukee stuff and all that, uh, it's, I have an Amazon link there to take you to an Amazon page that has all of my stuff on it right there also. So I'm all, uh, very, very happy with it. Very happy. I'm very happy with my light outside out there too that's on the photo sale out there. Very cool. And... So I'm going to let y'all go from now. We'll catch y'all later. Later, Taters. I just love this. Instant on, too.